OK, we're going to begin. This story is called Sam and the Milk Stout. It's another tale from Northcote, Heavy Horse Centre in It's a Rum Life Part 2, 1998 to 2008. This episode came about towards the end of Sam's life. He had been feeling somewhat off colour for a short while and our vet Julian fixed up for a blood test. The results showed that he needed more vitamins, particularly C and B. Vitamin C wasn't a problem, as we had a good friend in Roy with his fruit and veg shop in Spilsby, the nearest town to us. Out-of-date fruit was directed our way, and Sam found he loved oranges, even the outside skin too. Now, vitamin B pose more of a problem in its natural form and lots of it for a horse who weighed around 1800 weight. Then of course the penny dropped. Beer. Ruth remembered the time when hospital patients had been described a personal allowance of milk stout full of vitamin B and the ideal pick-me-up for those under the weather. From time to time in the past, we had been able to help our local family brewery, Batemans, with jobs involving heavy horses. We contacted Mr George, the boss, who was only too pleased to help out. How much do you think he needs, was the leading question. Working out his daily water intake, we decided he would require between one and two gallons of milk stout a day. The brewery, like most manufacturing premises, made different products on different days and milk stout was not generally in huge demand. For those of you who know about the modern light beers and lager, milk stout is similar to Guinness or Mackeson. It is dark or virtually black and, well, milky. We collected a couple of five gallon plastic containers on the first journey. Sam lived with his colleagues in a long open-sided shed separated by movable poles and gates. All the horses could see each other and if sharing the same hay feed, touch each other, but could not steal each other's special rations. This did not stop a commotion that first night that Sam had his personal allowance of milk stout. The smell was distinctive and appealing to all the other horses within smelling distance. Not long ago, of course, heavy horses working in brewery stables did have their daily beer ration, and from time to time, some of the other by-products too. Sam just loved his beer. Julian thought it would take three to four weeks to get him back in full health, and in the, in the end it took two months. Once we had started him on his diet, it had to be kept going, and gradually he drank the brewery almost dry. The critical time came when supplies were getting low. Most of the regular production, of course, went straight into bottles for sale. Fortunately, a 20-gallon barrel was found lurking in a corner and Sam was able to continue drinking his way back to health. Not being backward in the publicity stakes, we did inform the local press of our patient and his requirements. The next thing you knew was a phone call from the Daily Express, who were actually on their way from London at that very moment to take a special photograph. It was an actual day that we were open to the public. When they arrived, and we had brought in Mr George Bateman, the brewery owner, to be pictured delivering the latest five-gallon container to Sam himself. The photograph was superb and took a whole page in the Daily Express the very next day. Unfortunately, it was one that we did not manage to save. Sam recovered well and was somewhat disappointed when his treat had to come to an end. There we are. That's the end of that little story. Not a long one this time. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. Brought to you by Cracker Books, written and read by Keith Sanders. All the stories you listen to or read are compiled into books. There are three available at the moment. Uh, we'll tell you about the shop in a minute. Lots more free audio stories on this Buzzsprout site. Lots of free videos to watch. Even some, even some heavy horse videos about Sam on Keith Sanders, the short story man on YouTube. Hello, we're going to record this bit. Now this is a new ending to all our stories 
on Buzzsprout and on YouTube. We don't have a shop anymore. This is from September 2021. Because of COVID, we decided we'd make all our uh, stories, videos and books free to access on the internet. You can download anything you like, um, completely free of charge. Now access all these things, you can look at our new website www.itsarumlife.com That's I-T apostrophe S A R U M L I F E all no gaps dot com it's a rumlife dot com